Today, I'm going to cover cloud architecture, which is internet for beginners. If you want to become architect, here is a video which will help you by comparing with uh, real life examples. Not only this video, I have uh, covered few more videos with the uh, IAS PaaS, private cloud, VPN, migration strategies with the real life examples. It's worth to go through that, at least to understand the concepts. So let us get into our today's topic without further delay. So in the PaaS architecture, you will see application gateway, app services and blob storage images. For example, application gateway is to provide a single point of entry to your app services, whether it is a web application or it could be your web APIs and all those stuff. So I will discuss further deep in the real life example slide. So similarly, you will have Azure IaaS architecture. Previous one is a PaaS architecture, whereas it is IaaS architecture with a lot of uh, other components involved in the architecture. You can see the blob storage, SQL Server, and there are plenty of other components which will complement your entire application servers. Similarly, if you see it uh, on the AWS, you have uh, EC2 groups, Elastic Load Balancer, CloudFront, Web Application Firewall and uh, you have S3 instead of the blob storage in the AWS. So components are same, but the resource naming from the each vendor is different. So let us at least understand the architecture. That is the main intention of this uh, video. So assume that you have a huge villa. So the first thing is like, how do you secure that villa? Whether you will put a huge gate and gate with some kind of uh, or key mechanism there to enter the keys or you will have the remote open from the house itself. So there are different ways of securing that particular villa. He, similarly, you uh, you're actually building a house or a villa and then you're securing on the cloud, right? If you want to secure your servers, you can use the application gateway with the web application firewall and there are plenty of other secure mechanisms like you can use Active Directory, authentication authorization in your application level, certificate level encryption. So there are plenty of different ways that you can secure, just similar to how you secure your villa. And getting after getting inside your house, you have plenty of uh, rooms, maybe like kitchen, bedrooms, uh, restrooms, whatever. So all these are for the different purposes. Similarly, you can use the Azure VMs to store your application files, application code files, configuration files, any embedded uh, databases, all those stuff can be stored in the VMs. So now assume that you have all the stuff like which need not to be staying in the regular rooms, then what will you do? All those uh, uh, utilities or uh, excess groceries what you brought everything goes to your storeroom so in any villa that is a common thing that you will see the storeroom similarly assume that you have images like videos the, this type of heavy files that you will prefer to store it on the different storage rather than storing it in on the azure vm or on the app services so you can compare the blob storage with your storage room. Coming to your database, database always need to be very secured. It, need, it should not be exposed to the end user. So similarly in your house, if you want to keep one secret room, which is not exposed to anybody and uh, you don't want to give any information to anybody about that particular room, definitely you can build that kind of uh, secret room, which is known by only you or which is accessible only to you. So that kind of thing, make that kind of mechanism we are implementing on the cloud as well, that is a database server. So database server is not at all exposed and accessible to any outsiders. That is accessible only to your VMs or your blob storage based on the need. Only application developers and administrators can use this particular database based on again the various uh, uh, approvals, uh, depending on which environment they're accessing and all those stuff. So coming back to the various components. So if you want to make it more secure, then you will you can have continuous monitoring on your house by using uh, some kind of tab and also configuring the cameras. Similarly, you have Azure monitoring on the cloud. 
if you are super rich and you want to have the complete security environment then you will have a security office or even in the apartments you know uh, they have the security office separately that is only dedicated for the security people maybe 10 12 people will be always securing the apartment similarly you can have the security center where you can continuously monitor what the threats vulnerabilities are coming to your servers and you can uh, again enhance uh, azure with the azure defender uh, azure sentinel sentinel all these components can be utilized for that and coming to the cost management uh, if you are living in an apartment there will be a community and there will be some kind of administration team who manages all the cost and uh, they will also keep sending you the billing alerts like monthly maintenance for your apartment similarly here also you can set it up the billing alerts uh, by configuring on the uh, uh, cost center and also the cost management can be done like how what is the projected and current values and what was the past buildings and all those things can be accessed from the cost center if you want to automate the various processes within your development life cycle then you can use arm template azure resource manager azure devops and you can also use the notification hub to get uh, the relevant notifications whenever the server is uh, server utilization is 80 percent and above or your cpu consumption is more or you see some kind of threats then also you can uh, keep the alerts by using the notification hub so if you want to secure more then you can use a key vault like to store keys secrets and certificates network security groups can be used on top of vms to secure better and active directory everybody knows that you if you want to give authentication and authorization based access you can enable the active directory based as well like there is a ad uh, library so you can utilize in the level of the application to compare uh, with the apartment culture like you uh, nowadays apartments are making it automatic uh, gate open based on the sticker you stick it to your card or they also provide the access cards similar type of mechanisms we have here in the identity secrets and access management in a nutshell we have four important components which you can compare with your villa one is application gateway which is equal to your security you have a lot of rooms or flats that all you can compare with your vms azure vms or app services your storage room you can compare with your blob storage and then sql server is nothing but your secret room where you store or save the data securely other extra services to secure more like you can say continuous monitoring with your monitoring system even in the apartment culture the key vault mechanism with uh, the key based access to the tools or keys cost center like how they manage all the billing and invoices stuff hope at least to start your architecture journey this video will help thanks for watching my videos